someone asked, how do you turn mushrooms into spore syringes? So I showed in a previous video how to make spore prints. Sterilize your scissors with alcohol and a flame. Cut off the caps, and you can put the caps on aluminum foil if you're going to store them. And then you could just, you know, make a nice little envelope so nothing can get to them. Look how beautiful that is. I love that. Since I knew I was going to put these in water right away, um, I went ahead and did these. I love to do them in jars that I've sterilized so the lid is sterile. Look at that beautiful print. Now typically I do this in my still air box over here. Easy to make a still air box but that doesn't make for a good video. So I'm going to go ahead and dehydrate all of these caps. What I do inside the uh, still air box is I'll offset the jar just a bit to let some air in because you want it to dry. So I did that with this one. Here's the water it's going into. I just take off the lid. Look, that's nice and dry. And I'll show you why I do them on these lids. Look how easily that comes off. And it doesn't come this easily off of the aluminum foil. But it just comes off so fast and easy that I love doing them right on the lids. So that's how you do it. And then let it sit in the water for a couple of hours. You know, and if it sits, it's in water, it's going to be fine. If it sits a couple days, keep it cool. Um, you know, dark, cool place. Let the spores take up the water. And then I'll show you next how to do the syringes, which it's easy. You just take your sterile syringes, stick it in, and suck out some of the solution. But I'll show you that in this next part. So what I shoot for, yeah, I should say this, is I want something that looks like grape juice. Look how purple that is. That guarantees success. You have a lot of spores there. Um, this will make sure that they find each other and that they do their thing. So this is going to take, I mean, since I did this outside the still air box, I'm not going to use it. But this would probably take both of these also. I would add both of these to get this nice grape juice color. 